watching 8 News Now at 11 with Paula Francis and Dave Cavassier. The news for Southern Nevada is now. Years before his recent death, the Reverend Sun Young Moon had plans to turn our city, which he called the city of sin, into the city of sun and enlightenment. He didn't get into specifics publicly. We've learned the Reverend's Unification Church has recently purchased a big chunk of a Las Vegas neighborhood. 8 News Now anchor Paul Johnsick has more on what we've uncovered. The Reverend Moon passed away this month, but we have learned that before he died, his Unification Church went on a buying spree, purchasing enough property to establish a major foothold in Las Vegas. In April 2011, the Reverend Sun Young Moon's Unification Church purchased this 135,000 square foot warehouse near the airport for $11 million. Amid some fanfare, the Reverend Moon announced they would manufacture boats at the facility, Local dignitaries applauded the commitment to create jobs and stimulate the Las Vegas economy. But it's been a year and the warehouse sits idle. In fact, plans have changed. They won't be making boats here. Now the Unification Church plans to build a convention center and dormitory on this site. The death of Sun Young Moon has no doubt shaken the church. Moon was a self-proclaimed messiah. Church followers called him true father. He was famous for conducting mass weddings. He had a huge global empire, and he had big plans for Las Vegas. Plans for a convention center here are only the beginning. Searching property records, 8 News Now has learned that Moon's Unification Church has acquired more than a dozen properties spanning almost 21 acres. They spent $15 million acquiring land in the same Las Vegas neighborhood. Beginning with this $2.3 million purchase southeast of the premium outlet mall on Las Vegas Boulevard. This is where the Reverend Moon and his wife lived while in the U.S. The 5,800 square foot home sits on two and a quarter acres. And this is where we learned the Unification Church is amassing land. The church has been buying parcel after parcel around the mansion. And like so many puzzle pieces, they come together to form a nearly complete landmass. So. Dennis Flesher owns one of the few properties the church hasn't been able to get. He wasn't aware until we told him that he's one of the only holdouts. Have they approached you? Uh, yes. Uh, not, not with the number. They're interested in purchasing me, too. But, y you know, I asked them to, you, you know, give me a price. But no price has been mentioned. So I said, I'm happy living here. I love it. There's nobody around me. You know, I have a real ranch-style type of property here with, you know, no neighbors. And it's been this way for years. Flesher, who's lived in his home for 23 years, isn't sure what the Unification Church plans to do here, but he says so far they've been good neighbors. Even though the church is buying all this property only a block from the Strip, late today a church spokesperson assured me there are no plans to buy more, to gain access to the Strip, and no plans to turn it to commercial use. A spokesperson for the Unification Church tells me at this point they're moving forward with Reverend Moon's vision for Las Vegas. Specifically, that means construction of the convention center near the airport and rehabbing and beautifying their properties near the outlet mall, which they say will be used to house missionaries and Unification Church visitors.